So we're making this glamorous product, and yet here we are in Factoryville of Fairlawn, New Jersey, Lot 31B. We're actually inside the lab. I'm gonna show you all of the raw materials, exactly how a product is made from liquid to lip gloss. But first, I have to put my lab coat on. And let me tell you, it's not very glamorous. Sometimes it boggles my mind how all of this liquid actually becomes something you put on your lips. So this is the hoodia that comes from a cactus-like plant that's indigenous to South Africa and Namibia. And the plant extract has been used for centuries for its appetite, suppressing qualities. Doesn't smell that great, I have to say. But that's why we have other fragrances in the mix to make it smell really delicious because you don't want to put anything on your lips unless it tastes and smells good. And that was a key piece when we were formulating this product. And this is, this is where all of my life savings is, is in 10 jars in a lab. This is the uncolored base. As you can see, it has a little bit of a uh, yellow tone to it. Yeah, we have to get all the colors in first. Very carefully, get in 0.56 grams. No fragrance. This is the blue. This blue is amazing. Okay, Jeez. so this is like a serious, serious red. Oh, we're approaching two. And we're actually going to blend these in to uniformly disperse the powders and pigments into the base. Do you see all the little the specks of iridescent coming up? How beautiful is this shade? Oh my God, this is the most perfect pink ever. And this is like the big turkey baster. Oh, it looks great against the huge lips, skinny hips deco design. And here we go. 